first step tm second three years after three long years my six friends the ex roommates the best friends forever we finally had the covid trip the trip to alibaba and finally the trip was perfect we enjoyed at the beaches we dozed around at 2 in the morning we enjoyed all the sports activities that was on the list and then on the last day of the trip i jumped out of the running tree madam contest chair and my friends you already tried i jumped out of the running tree what so on the last day of the trip that was on 13th january 2020 we boarded the train that was from bandra to surat we had booked a sleeper coach i was on my seat watching all my photos of the journey and was really enjoying it and then suddenly someone from behind snatched away my phone and he jumped out of the train i was shell shocked and even if everyone was confused and in that confusion even i was also confused and involuntary i ran after him and i too jumped out of the train i landed on the bed of the sh uh, sharp stones my right hand and my right leg got bruised bad i could see that thief running away in front of my eyes and i had only two options either to run up after him and or to catch that turning train i was in the middle of a jungle and it was around midnight and so i had no choice that but to board that train so i stood up and as i was just going to catch and jump into that running train fortunately i saw that the train was slowing down luckily my friend who was present in that train had pulled out the emergency chain and then i pulled it that train i was bleeding people gathered around the train master came and some people were confronting me some people were shouting at me so why did you jump out it was just a phone yes it was just a phone but i had important data inside i had a lot of memories inside that phone and which i had not kept was the data important yes it was important for me but was that important there would be another situation also but the case was i was lucky enough that i was i didn't get hurt much but a fatal thing would also have happened i sat down and i started <coughs> at this or seeing the scene again and i regretted a lot why did i do that and then i came to a conclusion this involuntary thing that happened without thinking it was because i was too much attached with my phone i guess every one of us do the same everyone is attached with their phone right next day when i went to my home it was uttarayan everyone was gathered and after a little bit of chit chat what i saw was everyone was busy in their phones everyone was <coughs> in the virtual world without enjoying the present moment with their friends and family they were sending happy uttarayan messages what's up and happy and like you know i realized that time that we are really into the virtual world and we are not enjoying the real thing initially i too used to be the same i used to keep out my phone and i used to check the notifications in the afternoon how many of you do the same almost everyone i would like to ask a question to the married people how many of you are married people <laughs> so i think so the married people for them also they would be looking at the phone first in the morning rather than looking at their life partner <laughs> and for me that mobile phone was my life partner though i am not married but it was a kind of my life partner but then i started realizing that it's not right 
and that one week when I had no phone, I started feeling lighter. <coughs> I started connecting more with the paper, and I started being real in the real world. And I got a lot of time, free time, and that I utilized to read books, to play music, to play new instruments. So a very important thing I learned is that we all are nowadays getting so much consumed in this digital world. I won't say that you all have to check it out because today mobile phones are very important. I have to know. It helps us in emergency, not just in emergency, but it also helps in our daily life. So use it. Yes, use it, but don't let mobile phones use you. Control you. You're right. What do you mind? I'm not